Hello and welcome to task 26. In today's video, we are going to start the second section of your systematic literature review paper, which is on research methodology. This section will include various sub steps, such as identifying which keywords to use for doing your search, which databases to search the keywords in, developing search string to search for empirical papers, deciding on a systematic literature review methodology, such as Prisma or the one proposed by Kitchen Hammond Charters, and there are many others. And finally, you will decide on an inclusion and exclusion criteria for selecting papers. We will then look at quality assessment criteria to screen different papers and develop a SLR review protocol for the rest of the stages of your systematic literature review paper. This is the overall structure we will cover and we will follow over the next few weeks when we learn how to write the methodology section of your SLR paper. This is an important section that must be included in any SLR paper as otherwise it will be incomplete and poorly structured. So keep careful attention at this section. Throughout the videos, I will walk you through several examples from different systematic literature reviews published in the last few years. I will show you a few examples of my own published SLRs as well as SLR published and written by other researchers in order to give you a better idea of what a well-written SLR paper looks like. The methodology section should describe in detail the research process you used to conduct your systematic literature review. When you write your methodology section, make sure that it lays a strong foundation for you to conduct your systematic literature review. The process of conducting a systematic literature review typically consists of three main stages, planning, executing the plan and reporting the finding. During this phase, we will complete the planning step because that is the first step in using the methodology. We will also execute the methodology while we are finalizing it. So in a way, we are completing two steps at once. This may seem a bit confusing, but I can explain it with an example to clarify. For example, one of the first steps is to decide the keywords. And then the next step is to search these keywords in selected databases. If the results are good, we can continue with our research. Yeah, But if they are not, we need to change our keywords. This process of finding the keywords and assessing whether they are suitable or not in an iterative process. That is why I said we will write a plan and execute it simultaneously and refine it as we progress. The next step is to write down the whole process as you are progressing through this activity. That is, if you decide the first set of keywords, list the keywords and then execute a search using those keywords. Once you have found some results, write down what was searched and which keywords were used. It is best to do it now because once you have finished the task, you may forget this information later on. It is important to show that you have been unbiased when conducting SLR and that you have taken all possible steps to ensure objectivity. There is a lot to cover in this section. So let's get started with this. In today's activity, I would like you to review the methodology section of the five papers, five SLR papers in your collection. Make a note of all the different subsections they have in these papers and copy that list into your Word document. Once you have copied it, then I want you to list the different sections or the headings that you think you will include in your SLR paper. At this moment, just make a list. Don't worry too much about it. It isn't a final list. As we go through the upcoming tasks this week and the following weeks, it will become more clearer to you. I'll try to cover some of the most common sections, but there may be some things that are unique to your discipline and you may find papers in your field follow a different style. If that is the case, as we progress through this section over the next few weeks, you can start collecting the subheadings from various papers and build up your own layout and structure for this section. Also remember to refer to task 25 where we drew the diagram that shows the structure of the SLR paper. As you progress with your paper, go back and amend this figure reflecting any changes in the methodology section. 
If you remember, there is a subsection for methodology in that diagram as well. Once you have finalized these subsections, go back and amend that figure accordingly. All right, that is all in this video. You should now start your task. It should not take you any more than half an hour to skim all the five SLR papers and make a list of the subheadings. Keep a timer and begin working. Start your task in five, four, three, two, one. Now let me share the answer to this task. I hope you have taken the time to review all the five SLR papers. All right, let me show you the first paper. You can see in this example, I have the following subsections in the methodology section, which in fact, even you can use in your paper. If you have found other subsections, please share them in the comments below so that others may learn from your experience. So the first paper, uh, it was published last year in 2021. And here I had the following subsections for the methodology. Let me walk you through that. The first subsection in the methodology was section 3.1, where which was on selection criteria for research study. Second section was on literature selection, where we explained how the literature was selected. The third section was on quality assessment criteria, where we decided once we have screened the papers, what is it that we are going to look for in those papers to decide on their quality. The next section 3.4 explained the data extraction. What that means is how we are selecting information from each paper that we are going to uh, shortlist and use in our research. And finally, section uh, 3.5, which was on data synthesis and finding. So this is where we explained how we are going to analyze the papers and analyze our research and report the finding. Okay, so that was the example of the first paper. Now let's look at the second paper and see what uh, what sections or subsections I had in this paper. So this paper begin uh, with a selection criteria for research studies. That was the first subsection. The second subsection clearly outlined the inclusion and exclusion criteria. The next section talked about the study selection and the result. Section four or section D talked about the quality assessment criteria for the research studies that we used. Section E focused on data extraction and section F was on data synthesis. So these words or these sections may not make much sense right now because I haven't covered any of this or I haven't taught you any of this. But as we progress over the next few weeks, we will be covering each and every aspect of the methodology section and actually going through the whole methodology process itself. You know, uh, that way you will get a clear and detailed understanding of what is it that you need to include in the methodology part. All right. That is all in this video. Thank you very much for watching. I have two video suggestions for you at the end of this video. If you want to check out the next task, click the left video. If not, click the right video for YouTube's recommendations. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon and share this video with any other of your friends or colleagues who may benefit through my research videos. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye.